always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation They ain't never had the dedication People hate and say we changing, look we made What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today is Saturday, March uh, 24th, I think. Yes, I did shave, um, so I probably look a lot different because I've had a so-called beard since like Thanksgiving, I think, or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, Karina and I are getting ready right now. We are going to go to Gym City Comic Con at the Dayton Convention Center. I think we're meeting up with Andrew and his wife. Possibly Toy Bills and his girl, and then Kyle, his wife, his neighbor, and his wife, I think. I don't know. There's going to be, hopefully, quite a bit of people that will be joining us. It's my first time at this convention, as you guys know, maybe. Um, Karina and I are kind of getting into reading comics and this and that. So this is a comic-heavier convention, hence Comic-Con. Um, but there are some toy vendors there, so I will be showing that. But I just want to go. It's only like 8 bucks to get in. Um, yeah, so first time I haven't seen it. I've heard it, it's good um, So I want to get my opinion on it and kind of go there firsthand hang out with some people this and that But yeah, I just wanted to record for you guys because uh, honestly I need a video So we are about to head out go get some food and then I'm going to sell a couple Lego sets Hopefully at the convention center and then we'll walk in hopefully meet everybody up have a good time And you guys are coming along. So I hope you are having a great day if you are, um, comment down below and tell me uh, what you did this weekend. There we go. We'll start off with that. So if you're having a great day, whenever you're watching this, what are you doing? Comment down below. So that's pretty much it. I don't know how to start an intro because I haven't done a video in like a week. So I will see you guys at the convention center. Okay, so we have made it and, and it's actually uh, pretty pretty big. So like I said, we've never been here before. I've never been here before. Um, so I'm going to get a lot of looks today, I think, because this is probably weird outside of all the cosplay people. Um, this is probably the next um, oddest thing to look at. But we are going to go check out some booths, I think. Um, a lot of things are comic heavy, as I said. But I do see some toys, so... Yeah, I don't know how much filming I'm going to do. I still got to get with Andrew, and then Kyle's coming up here. And, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just taking this all in right now. But I will, uh, I'll pick this back up once I find something worth uh, showing. Okay, so here are some uh, figures, finally. I don't know if... Uh, if I'll be, if you'll even be able to hear me, but I'm gonna go flip through these. See what's going on. We got a Toy Biz Bishop. We have Abomination, McFury, Cap, Wasp, Long Shot, uh, Unmasked Wolverine. Here's a, uh, a Cad Bane, Tuscan Raider. And then there's a uh, Iron Spider right there. Nothing. Resident Evil. Kill zone. I hopefully you guys can hear me because it's actually louder than I thought it would be in here. So But this is like one of the first toy booths. There's actually a booth, I think somewhere over there, that had a couple of Mezco figures. But uh yeah, I wanna wait on those. Let's see what else they have around the corner. Nothing. Here's another kind of figure stuff over here, maybe. All right, so we are here at Roma Collectibles booth. Um, they were at the Columbus Toy Show. I don't think I got any footage um, of their booth there just because there was so much stuff. But I'll give you guys a quick overview of everything that is uh, here. They do have some dope stuff. They have a Storm Collectible Reptile. And they have a couple Mezco figures up here. And then the Judge Dread Lawmaster. And then these, uh, I guess, quarter scale, technically. More combat stuff? I don't really know. Alien vs Predator 2 pack. Then they have the Defenders Amazon set, which is sweets. A couple animated series things. A4 set. And then this custom, I know it goes around the internet a lot, but that's such a cool. Let's zoom that out. Duh. That's a cool custom. I know since he showed it on his videos, I believe. Like that is that is cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. With his eye cut out or whatever or slashed out. Yeah, they have some cool stuff here at this booth. Here's some uh, Marvel Universe stuff. And we have some box legends over here. Overall, really, really cool booth. They're pretty much at like every local show. So, you kind of get get the feels every time. Normally, the booth's bigger, but with this being a comic one, I don't, I don't think they had a bigger booth. So, yeah, let's go check out some more stuff. 
So, uh, got recognized by someone, Danny, I think he's right there, somewhere over there. So Danny, if you're watching this, my man, thank you for coming up and saying hello. I greatly appreciate it. Um, a little update, one, yep, I took off my hoodie. Of course, I have to uh, always plug. But we are, we bought a couple trade backs. I got the first thing of Silk, and then Karina got Spider Woman, right? Yeah, yeah Spider Woman. Uh, the, the trade backs were five bucks, which was pretty cool, and uh, someone is interrupting me right now. Andrew, if you watch my videos, thanks for interrupting. What's up, dude? Okay, so another pickup that I just got is the Uncanny X Force order issues. This is a uh, this is volume one, and this is volume two, and we got them um, for ten bucks for both of them. So I really can't uh, I can't beat that price at all. But Andrew's here, so say what's up. What's up? There we go. And then, beast. Are you? Oh my God. All right, uh, back to you, Bob. That's funny. That that zoom. <laughs> pizza, 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 pizza. pizza. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. So I'm, I'm thinking about getting this though, for real, because it has the two issues or four four issues. And plus this uh, Omega. It's only six bucks, and I think yeah, yeah, three issues on that. I just like the shininess though. Like that's what I like. Shiny. You're going crazy with those zooms right now. <laughs> okay guys, so we are walking back to the car because I am putting my camera away because it is, to flip through all the comments and stuff, it's very, very hard. It's hard, ow, I just literally just hit myself in the face. Oh, I'm that's keeping awesome. that in. Keep that in. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm putting the camera away. I can't record anymore. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. All right guys, we are done with the toy show and we're actually at Toy Fan Addict right now. It's a, uh, I've been here before. He actually moved. Um, location so we are visiting his new store for the first time uh, the the show was good I literally probably probably bought like 50 plus comics um, so I'll give you guys an overview of all that stuff but I'm excited to go in here because it's a new store or a new layout I guess you could say but yeah let's go check it out guys okay so we are walking in the back it actually goes all the way back there Karina's doing her hair she's happy about that um, so yeah okay here we go here's some VC we have a Darth Malgus down there, here's some uh, vintage-ish uh, Star Wars stuff. We have some vintage right here. And let's see what else we got. Looks like some G.I. Joe figures. Hopefully you guys can see that it's not too dark. This store is just like very random, you know, I guess you could say. There's just a lot of different things in different corners. So it's not really any... Yeah, see I want that. I looked at it last time when I was here with somebody, I forget. Really? But yeah, open it up. It's the only X-Men. Le they're actually legends. Yeah. Wow. Looks super cool. You got Beast, Archangel, Cyclops. And then it's Marvel Girl and then Iceman. Here's a bunch of different older uh, Batman, Kenner vehicles. Probably I had most some of these as a kid. I don't know. These are awesome though. So this store is like a blast of the past. Blast from the past. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. And here we have some older uh, Ninja Turtle carded figures. Heroes in a Half Show. Splinter. There we go. And here's some old uh, Power Ranger figures. I think I had that, uh, that, what is it called? Oh my god, I forget what they called the, the battle guys right there. Cause you push that little Z and I know all of his limbs come out. Here we have some uh, some pops. I don't know if, $45, okay, never mind, just kidding. I say, uh, I don't know if Cody has this one or not. For the friend box, but $45, nope. All right guys, so day two, we got Billy today. Thank God he's still asleep as always. <laughs> um, but I switched over to my G7X because I do not um, want to carry around the big camera. So I'm pretty much, well, real quick, dude, look at this print real quick, bro. I was here yesterday, so I'm going to just keep this recording. Uh, where is it? All right, this dude does the new Uncanny stuff and X-Men Gold. Or is it? Was it this one? So I am going to try to show more footage because this is obviously day two. So I'm going to give you guys a look at these pops. And I think Billy might be looking for some. See, that's the face of what should I buy. That's exactly what he's looking at right now. But uh, there's really nothing. Uh, oh, 
Uh, Funko just announced they're coming out with the Clone Wars TV series Pops. What? Yeah. I, I just, heard that they were doing yeah. something with Pops. I didn't know it was for that. That's, yeah. What? So I will be getting back into Pops, unfortunately. Um, but let's take a look at what they have. So Billy's looking at some art right here. How much is this? 20 a print? Yeah, these are 20. It's not bad. Good old Pink Ranger. These look so good, though. These are nice. I like that Daredevil. Oh, it's oh, signed by... Is that the... The artist, probably. Yeah. That's a cool picture, though. I think he did. Most of oh, damn. Let me see this. Dude, I like that. Yeah, that's awesome. That looks really good. Oh, this looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that looks super good, dude. Okay, guys. So, I bought this uh, cable print. And... Billy bought a couple of Star Wars. Those are actually really dope. I uh, had someone do a, co a cover art uh, commission, I guess you could call, for an X-Force Wolverine. So we are on our way right now to go pick it up and I will show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so here is the X-Force Wolverine that I was just telling you about. Uh, he just did it. Here's the homie Adam right here. And I just bought this too, just because it looks so dope. Uh, full color on that. So I'm gonna get frames for these guys. They're gonna look awesome together i'm super stoked first pieces of art that i bought and then a couple other of his stuff right here we got spider-man which obviously looks good judge red planet hawk all sorts of good stuff and then here i'll put all the links down in the description below if i can get this to focus but there he is adam fields so go go look at his facebook because he actually does uh, live drawings when he gets commissions and stuff so like every morning he'll uh he'll go live on facebook and start sketching some stuff. So like I said, this stuff will be down in the description below, but these things are so beautiful, I'm super happy. All right guys, we are back at the house. Um, I'm going to wrap up this video and hopefully I can cover everything that I got in the past two days. Unfortunately, it's literally all comics. So yeah, I guess technically I still did toy hunt at the convention or whatever because I did look at toys so yeah no clickbait um, but before I get to the good stuff that you guys already saw what you guys did not see me pick up is I uh, the C cable and x-force series uh, I decided to pick up the first like I think nine issues eight seven ten the first ten issues but I'm missing issue uh, two um, but for a dollar a piece, I decided to just get the first couple issues of a lot of stuff that I'm interested in reading. So I'm super excited about that. And then yesterday we picked up um, um, a bunch of the X-Men Gold. I think I got the first like 14 issues of that. The first uh, 14 issues of X-Men Blue. And then I got the Astonishing X-Men. Um, I got I had the trade back already and then I picked up um, up to issue nine so I think that's current um, and then Karina got uh, spider woman two trade backs of spider woman and then she got some Gwynpool as well and then also um, trade back wise I got volumes one and two of the uncanny x-force and then I got the first volume of silk just because five dollars a piece when stuff is a good price, I tend to just buy it just because it's a good price, so it's probably horrible, but whatever. Um, and then today, I think you guys saw this, I got this um, print of Cable. I think it's Gavin Smith is the artist. And he said this was his one of his only um, actual hand painting that he had because everything else he would color digitally. But I don't know, just this Cable just looks very, very good. And then you guys saw Adam Fields. Um, I had him commission this for me, this X-Force Wolverine. I think this looks beautiful. It just, oh uh, man, I don't know. I was just super hyped. I saw his stuff. I've seen him at a lot of other local shows as well. Um, so first and foremost, Adam, if you're watching this dude, thank you so much. Like I said, guys, his links to his Facebook and stuff will be down in the description below. So if you guys are local to me, um, definitely make sure to go follow him. That way you can keep up because he also has a comic called Prowl. I believe is what it's called um that he does and i'm probably next uh show i'm going to probably pick up the first couple issues of that but this is absolutely gorgeous and then yesterday i saw this nightcrawler um uncanny x-men cover and i had to get this as well i think this was 60 i believe and then the the black and white was 50. so 110 dollars for both of these i'm going to get frames for them for sure 
uh, just because they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm super excited. But I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Once again, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And thank you to the people that came up and said hi to me at this show. Um, already, I think it was Jesse, maybe? I think it was Jesse. He, he lives in LA and he flew back here, or he's from Beaver Creek. I think it's Jesse. Dude, if I'm getting your name wrong, just tell me down in the comments below. Um, what, dude? A T Rex. Your T Rex? You want to show him? Alright, show your T Rex real quick. That, yeah, it's a big T Rex, huh? So, he's eating his Lunchable. It's lunchtime here. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut it off, guys. I love you so flippin' much. Um, C2E2 in two weeks from today, I believe. So, that's going to be super crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to live stream next Saturday. Well, this coming Saturday from this video. Um, I'm going to make a point to do that because I'm, I'm, I'm missing them at this point. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you very, very soon. I love you so flipping much. And as always, uh... May the figs be with you. I'm, I'm keeping that in. <laughs>